Well, hello guys and welcome to this video. Today we're going to be playing some health us with a self-healing build. So yeah, let's we'll see what we can do. Start working some uh, waves. Uh, we're going to move towards bottom side. We can clear uh, waves fairly easily so we can rotate to get uh, our mana request um, between middle and and bot, I guess. They have an avatar as well. Really need to try and grab the region glove stone. There we go. Yeah, let's start uh, just rotating here. I uh, no don't need to just stay bot against a Samuro, which uh, is just going to be annoying to deal with. Commit, clear the wave, and move back bot. There we go. Okay, we see the Junkrat actually bot. Uh, we're going to move towards top then. Capture this. We lost our Artanis through the Illidan. Interesting. Let's see their talents. Oh, they went for the tank build. Oh, we have the Avatar there. Interesting. Decent damage. Beautiful. Let's just run here. Beautiful. Um, missed the E. Uh, let's see. We're going to go for energy roll. That's going to reduce our cooldown of our E. Let me actually uh, back here. We're getting a bit too low and we don't have um, our fountain avail available. Uh, we see the Artanis going for the camp. Let's try and help them. Because if they take way too much time, we're going to have one less person on the objective. wait for the region glove there we go uh, we can try and clear mid there we go let's go for the warhead we're gonna lose the bottom one it's fine okay, let me actually use uh, this warhead here might as well Beautiful. There we go. Let's grab this. Nice. Push this. Um, we're gonna use the warhead mid again. You kind of want to use it at uh, top. The best uh, place to use it. Oh, we almost lost the Artanis to the turret stair. Okay, there we go. Uh, we're gonna go for burn, burn flesh. Uh, that's gonna empower our damage on our Q uh, when we hit multiple targets. Uh, it's gonna be an increase of eight percent of their maximum health, so not too bad. As and since they have a Samuro, that should be able to trigger fairly easily. Nice, we got the Jaina. Beautiful. Okay, let's grab this. That was such a good... Uh, engage or I guess uh, outcome for us. I got like a multiple uh, gravity laps. It's uniform. Let's grab uh, our fountain here. Don't want to be dying with the warhead. Let's go. We can use it as well. That should be enough. Let's wait for the region globe here. Nice. Uh, 
Yeah, there we go. The Artan is, uh, is going to tank for us. Beautiful. For maximum damage, you want to use the Living Bomb uh, Empower Verdant Spheres. So I was trying to save for that instead of using it with the Flame Strike. We're gonna get Pyroblast. Fairly good damage ability. We can use it uh, against the Artanis, which uh, they do not get that, mo that much uh, spell armor. Okay, it seems that we're gonna be going for the boss. As long as the Artanis can tank this, maybe we have a chance on getting this. We'll see. Doesn't seem that anyone is moving towards this side of the map, so they have no idea. Couldn't dodge that uh, AOE. It's fine. We need five more region gloves. There we go, four more. It should be an easy fort for us. Nice. Maybe we can get uh, the wall of the keep as well. We'll see. Need to be careful. Don't get caught by the Artanis. Move back. Okay, we don't see them pushing actually. Or defending, so... Looking really nice for us. They might have gave up. Uh, I only see the Elite and pushing bot. With the Avatar uh, monstrosity. Okay, interesting. I guess we're just gonna win. Okay, Artan is using the prior fire beam against me. The Illidan has the hunt available. Yeah, I knew it. There we go. Let's move away. Try to survive before we die. Not quite, unfortunately. Oh, uh, one of the shortest game I've had in a while. Uh, I can try this again, so yeah, give me a sec. Probably we'll see what uh, if we do the same build, I guess. But yeah, let me uh, do another game for you guys. All right, let's see what we can do on game two. Uh, we're going to go for Money Addict once again. Uh, try to do the same or almost the same self build build. Uh, they have four uh, bodies, so we're probably not going to get the same uh, level 7 talent, but yeah, we'll see. Good hit. Uh, we are not getting any region gloves here. So I'm just going to move towards uh, oh. top side. There we go. That Arthas, or sorry, that Thrall was going way too deep. Oh, we might be dead here. Yeah. yeah we're definitely gonna need the self build uh, talents here. Uh, I really don't like that the Serator was able to just uh, wait here for free. Uh, let's move towards uh, top side once again. Start uh, getting some region gloves. Yeah, it's a bit risky to start grabbing the region gloves, unfortunately, against a Zeratul. But we'll see what we can do. There we go. Grab the gems. Lost the Illidan. Not sure where they died. Almost. Move back top. Clear the wave once again. Need to wait for it to be at the correct position. Beautiful. Have the last gem. There we go. Seems that our avatar is using some mines there as well to try and stop the Seratul of the Romes. Oh, yeah. Really nice. Try to clear this. 
Okay, there we go. I can keep attacking them. Might not be enough. Close though. Uh, we can go back top once again. Pretty much need to get our arcane barrier uh, fairly close, uh, fairly soon because uh, Ceratus is just gonna be diving me or focusing me every time. No, oh. I guess they went to clear the wave here. Nice, we got the Illidan to grab the region glove for us. Nice, that's what you probably expect most of your games. Uh, from people to just grab the reading gloves for you and you being really far back out of uh, enemies way okay I'm going to try and clear this camp oh we have a region glove here actually let me grab that grab the other one beautiful we're waiting for our living bomb we use them power so we can use two living bombs and that should be a clear for us. Okay, we have the alien chasing the Abathur. Let's see if we can save them here. They actually might be fine on their own. Nice. There we go. I'm gonna let them grab the gems and go clear meat. Uh, yeah, as we said, we're not gonna go for the burn flesh. Since they do have one less body, uh, it's not a good talent to grab here. So instead, we're gonna go for some fire enchantment. That's gonna allow us to have two special attacks um, against the enemy team to improve our spell power by 15% as well. There we go. Okay, we need 10 more. They have enough uh, them as well. There we go. Grab this. We can clear another wave here, actually. Beautiful. Need five more. Keep rotating here. One more. Let's see if they are trying to pay here. I'm actually seeing them there. Yeah. Can't really go in. Let's clear this. There we go. Decent damage. We had still our um, arcane barrier, so we were fine. I appreciate the Avatar help though, for sure. Grab the gem. Okay, we need to try and clear this. Evade that. There we go. Grab the region glove. Okay, interesting. Interesting dive to say the least. Uh, we need to be careful not to be hit by the purple AOE. There we go. Oh, we are Omega dead here. Yeah. They used the Avatar clone and the other Serator was going for us. And we didn't have our Arcane Barrier. It's fine. If they want to use that much to get me, I'll take it. They didn't even get that much uh, out of the objective, so not too bad. We have the Seratul going bot. Maybe we can catch them out of position here. If we get them with the Pyroblast uh, at that health, uh, they're just gonna die. They should be around this area. They might have went mid as well. Oh, I actually think I saw them. Yeah, I saw them. There we go. We got the Seratul. Oh, okay.
We have a lot of objective, but um, we have a lot of people dead. We have the Illidan nearby though. They're not going in, so we're not gonna go in as well. Uh, let's go top. Monstrosity seems to be uh, a bit low. Um, we see them rotated, uh, rotating top actually, so we're just gonna leave. Let's just stay with the team. Uh, don't take risks. Please grab the region glove. Damn, they didn't. We have the Illidan pushing bot. Let's move towards that. They're probably gonna rotate it here. Yeah, there we go. Oh! A bit late on the initiation there. We needed to be instant. Uh, we would have, would have had them there. It's fine though. Okay, the monstrosity is gonna be dying. Nasibo seems to be fairly low. Didn't die though, so not bad. Almost have our pyroblast. Damn, we got hit by a uh, toxic nest. Clear the wave. Beautiful. We're gonna go for backdraft. That's gonna slow our enemies a bit. Let's see if the Seratul is uh, a bit low. No. They use the fountain, so they're not that low. Try and clear this. Get some damage on. Okay, they're getting initiated here. You can try and get the Seratul. Oh, it uh, cancelled. Hopefully the Tracer can get the gems. There we go. Yeah, I'm not walking uh, to die there. Grab the other region glove. There we go. Yeah, the Illidan is uh, getting a bit too um, ahead, or ahead of themselves. Diving or expecting to not be someone else there was a bit uh, naive to say the least. Yeah, we're slowing them now. Not bad. Okay, we have the Illidan going in. A bit too deep, honestly. We can use the barrier here. Might be dead either way, or maybe not, actually. Damn, it cancelled again. A really bad uh, synergy on the initiations here. Damn, we have the Seratul fairly low here. There we go. I think we got them. We'll see. Did we get them? Yes, we did. They tried, but it wasn't enough. Beautiful, grab that. We have some toxic nests here. We can clear them with that. There we go. We haven't done one camp. Um, we couldn't get to the camp in time as well. We're gonna need to try and clear. Um, we almost got them. Close, close. Razor, please don't run into me. There we go. Oh, another initiation there. Nice. Got the E on the green main. Very nice. Okay, they were not going in there. And I use my E preemptively. Just in case. You can just run here. There we go. I think uh, the avatar is just trying to do as much damage as they can with the copies. Uh, they're not using them for team fights. There we go, we got the talent that makes our Q explode twice. Uh, maybe using it, using the talent for the applying the living bomb was a play here since we have some living bomb that slows. Oh man. There we go. I think we got them both. 
Oh man, so close. Don't want to die here, so I'm actually just gonna go grab the fountain here. Didn't get any region globes, so never mind, we got one. Beautiful. Didn't get the hit. I think we got them actually. Them, we got them both. Nice. Beautiful. Let's get our power basic attacks. Nice, nice. We can try and pay our gems. We have a nice amount, so we don't want to be dying with uh, them on us. Uh, we can go for the Siege Camp bot. Since we have the Nasibo doing the Bruiser Camp. Where that we just uh, move towards this one. Need to put them a bit closer together so the Living Bombs applies to both of them. There we go. Thanks to our talent that um, makes another queue pop up. We clear camps uh, really fast as well. We need a bit more gems. Seven more. One more. Okay, we need to clear this. There we go. Don't want to be going in here. Okay, beautiful. We see the tracer going into the Serator. Put the initiation there from the Illidan. Ah, oh, didn't get in range. Grab the region glove. There we go. Let's run away. I can just run away from the copy there. Don't want to be wasting HP uh, fighting that. Illidan should be able to get them. Nice. We got one Q uh, hit there. Okay, Tracer needs to start running. Oof, close one. Uh, we're going to increase our range on our Q. We kind of need to be in a safe position, so yeah, we're going to start with that. Good hit. Try to keep poking. There we go. Beautiful kit. It almost double. Hmm. I think we're fine actually. I got way too deep there for me. Okay, we're fine. They didn't come back to us. They could have, but they didn't. Nice. Uh, we didn't get any keeps uh, not the best honestly we really had a nice advantage on xp so yeah really surprising that we didn't get much they do have decent wave clear so kind of makes sense but oh well seems that we're gonna be doing the boss we need to move towards uh, the middle there not like the tracer there because uh, they have vision through uh, that those walls so you want to be uh, walking uh, in the middle here or uh, sorry about that or I guess um, destroying the walls oh my god the tracer is running nearby us okay, we lo they lost uh, the gray men let's use the pyroblast might as well let's see if we can catch the kyrthas they're gonna get the slowed. Them, we missed. I was expecting the explosion to be a bit earlier. Oh, they got the hit on us. It's fine. Let's move away. Uh, they don't have anyone to go for us here. So as long as we go base, uh, we should be fine. 
Uh, uh, the boss is gonna get some damage there. Let's see if the Avatar has Mule. They don't have it, so uh, that damage is gonna stay there. I mean, it regens a bit, but not as much as uh, when using the Mule. Pretty much uh, gonna be clearing this. Gonna wait for our living bomb. There we go. We don't have our arcane barrier for 30 seconds. So we need to be as healthy as possible and uh, not be that risky on our positioning. Let's see. The Nasibo check that first. Okay, they're fine. Okay, they're not going in. It's fine. We see the Seratul there as well. Oh, they used the Bolt of the Storm. They might have survived because of that, honestly. Got the hit. Don't want to get baited uh, by the... By the Thrall's HP. They can heal quite a bit of damage. I need to get them fairly low to use my Pyroblast. Hmm... Oh, yeah, that's uh, they're just gonna heal. Let's get daily then with this. There we go. Alta's gonna use their Q. Yeah, respected. Does this Kaltas has Arcane Barrier? No, they don't. Okay. We can use the Pyroblast on them. Okay, they're fine. At least we got the Greyman. Illidan's still alive. We can try and help them here. Never mind. Let's clear this. Try and get some damage on the keep. We have the Avatar. Getting the wall there. The Thrall is getting some nice uh, slows there with the Q. As long as we clear some waves, we should be fine. Okay. Wait for the mount. There we go. Uh, three people dead. They only have the Thrall here, actually. Beautiful. Just keep uh, poking them with the W. Okay. For now we are fine. We got them. Really well done. We can try and keep poking the Kyrthas here. Them. Didn't get the hit. Fine. At least we got the hit on the wave there. Uh, let's clear the wave. Try and get some damage on the keep. Don't want to be going in. Seratul might be looking for us. Okay, we see the mid, so we're fine. Uh, let's just uh, maybe keep trying to poke the keep there. Get some damage in. I think uh, one more flame strikes should do it. There we go. Nice spread on the living bomb. Wasn't enough. Oh, they got a nice hit on us. Teratul around top side. So we are fine. We just need to try and push a... Uh, I guess bot. They can use the pyroblast on the Greyman to push them away. And they make it back? Oh, barely. We have the Thrall here. Got the hit. Let's see if the Seratul comes back to the Illidan. No, they didn't. Uh, we have the Tracer getting chased. That's fine. I guess we can just go for the core here. 
Nice, what a really good E on the Zeratul. We can just be keep uh, damaging the core here. And that's gonna be game. Oh, by the way, the <laughs> the Illidan in our team is the same as the uh, enemy Illidan on the last game. <laughs> Interesting. I wonder if the Abaddon was the same as well. But yeah, not bad. Uh, as expected, we pretty much uh, did most of the damage, I think. And they couldn't kill us once we to a certain point in the game i think uh, arcane barrier gives you a lot of survivability but if uh, more than two people uh, focus you or i guess uh, try to get you uh, as an assassin i guess uh, you're just dead either way so yeah i'm glad that they were not coordinated enough to you to do that really good damage Abathur ended up doing most really interesting since uh they went from a toxic nest build into a split push build uh i think their damage got a bit boosted with uh the mines uh i'm gonna be guessing here uh but besides them we were pretty much uh, top damage in the game uh top damage in siege and top xp contribution as well uh let's review the talents we went for mana addict for the arcane barrier uh, you need to collect 20 uh, regeneration globes before uh, having access to this um, obviously you can uh, still keep um, grabbing region globes to increase your mana by 15 so that's going to increase your shield as well energy royal uh, that's going to reduce the cooldown of your e for every target hits uh, that it's a hero um by five seconds oh so, yeah really good self build option especially against seratul which uh pretty much jumps uh on you and Greyman as well then we went for sunfire enchantment uh this is pretty much just to the one of the decent uh talents that we could grab here uh you can go for the other ones uh, depending on the situation if you want to Get some extra damage on the living bomb to spread you can go for that talent or if you want some extra damage on the flame strike against multiple heroes you can go for the other one as well uh, but yeah we went for some fire enchantment to increase our damage uh, of our fire blast by 15 percent after using our basic attacks um towards enemy heroes oh so, yeah uh, not the, the best talent, but I think it was the best for this situation. Um, Pyroblast. Uh, very straightforward. One of the high, highest damaging ability in the game. If you get one good combo into someone uh, and do a Pyroblast at the end, most of the heroes are just going to be dead. Oh yeah, really good. Uh, choice here. Phoenix is honestly not a good choice for anything i think they dealt way too little damage so yeah i probably never go phoenix uh, maybe i would consider it, consider going phoenix if the attacks were spread uh, against multiple targets uh, but since it only focus one target uh, you lose way too much damage since uh, it it can be spread amongst uh, a lot of targets there uh, i guess so pretty much you can go into a phoenix tank uh, the hits move away let other tank the hits and yeah, it's pretty much wasted uh, damage at that point uh, so anyways and then we went for backdraft um, that's gonna allow the living bomb explosion to slow our enemies uh, by 30% for two seconds really good self peel as well uh, as well as a uh, good chasing ability um, since we had decent uh, chaser skill with tracer and illidan then we were for fury of the sun well uh, that's gonna allow us to uh, once we use our q make another explosion of our q uh, after 1.5 seconds later uh, i think we could have went for 
the other one that applies the living bomb, uh, bomb like the cartas on the enemy team uh, that would have been a good choice as well since uh, would have applied another living bomb that slows so yeah uh, both of them are good choices uh, for this one and finally flamethrower just a basic increased range of our Q and a reduced cooldown reduction if you hit two or more heroes um, a cooldown reduction of four seconds and yeah i guess that's it hope you guys enjoyed like i said if you like this type of content please consider subscribing i mostly do non-meta builds for heroes of the storm so if that's your thing you know what to do and with that i wish you a wonderful day and hopefully i'll see you guys on the next one mm, bye bye